This is field day slash Earth Day. Uh, Earth Day is actually on the 22nd, but we thought it was perfect timing with this being our field day to incorporate just a little bit of a, uh, instruction and let the students know uh, the importance of, you know, still going outside and, you know, getting off of those computers and, you know, in, um, engaging in their surroundings outside. And we even have a community organization here, um, Continental Societies Incorporated. Uh, came in and they actually have a station where they're talking to students about uh, planting seeds and um, growing trees and the importance of you know keeping our earth sustained and healthy so we truly appreciate that too. Our organization is bringing information to the children about preserving Mother Earth, respecting Mother Earth and how we can live on planet Earth doing wonderful things. We are giving the children an activity with coloring pages, stickers, and a grow project. The children will be planting fruit and vegetable seeds to take home and monitor the growth. We are really so excited. You know, the past few years of COVID, parents haven't been able to come into the buildings as you know we ha would have hoped, but we are so excited to see we have over uh, 65 parents who registered to volunteer at stations today at Field Day, and we have just as many uh, more that just want to stay and be in the classrooms and um, you know fellowship with the kids and staff. ECC makes it happen no matter what. So it's always a plan B, C, and D. And so if it, even if it was raining outside, you know, we are still having a successful field day inside with the stations and the PTO working and everything's going really well. So it was very important. It takes a village, right? It takes a village and it takes the Spartan community and our parents are a big part of that. And so we want them engaged. We want them on the campuses. We want them in the classrooms. And uh, it, it's a help for everybody. It's a help to see the children know that we have partnerships with their parents. Um, it helps the staff know that they have partnerships with parents. And then it makes parents feel um, a sense of ownership in their children's uh, academic and learning experiences. And so it's a benefit to the whole child. That's all we want. Well, I am a, uh, definitely a big advocate for the development of the whole child. And here at uh, Stafford ECC, um, we are powered by fueling brains. And one of the components of that is movement and um, left brain, right brain uh, development. And so the, the movement piece today, we're encompassing that because we are, um, again, definitely getting the kids moving, getting them working and um, having fun developing their fine motor skills. And they don't even know that they're doing it. They're just having fun, but it is still developing those physical skills. And so, you know, that's important to do. And it's important to create those um, opportunities for kids to engage in that. You know, a lot of times we get focused on the academic side and assessment, but for the little ones, especially at our age level, three, four, five, six year olds, it's also about letting them know that school can be fun. Um, they can make friends here. They can um, find out what their hidden talents are. I saw one young lady in the relay race um, skipping and, you know, a lot, we don't even teach our kids how to skip anymore. And one uh, little boy was skipping and I'm like, oh, he's gonna be a future long jumper. So, you know, without those experiences, sometimes those things wouldn't come out. And especially if they're able to recognize that at this age and as they grow and mature, they can cultivate those types of talents. At the end of the day, the main goal is for us to engage with the parents and for us to show kids uh, students that they can have fun, to get them physically active and uh, show them the importance of staying physically fit.